This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by ajuice.com. Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a game streaming background animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. In fact, using just one single shape layer. So it's going to be super fun, super easy. Without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition, which is going to be 1920 by 1080 called the Surrender Com. as no, none of the dope motion tutorials are complete without creating a render composition. So here we have our render comp, hit OK. Let's create a background. So I'm gonna hit Control Y to create a new solid called this BG for background, hit OK. And then I'm going to select my ellipse tool from the shape layer and with the stroke of two with fill set to none, hit OK. I'm going to hold control and shift at the same time to create a perfect circle like so. Let's align this circle into the center. So we have something like this. I'm going to call this circle underscore one. And then let's go into ellipse one and let's add a trim path. Then I'll go to around one second and 15 frames, go into trim paths and set the end property to um, let's go with something like 30%. All right. And create a keyframe, go back and set this to zero. Then we can animate the offset. So let's create a keyframe on the offset. Go all the way up to 10 seconds and set this to around two or three. Let's see how it looks. So we have this really nice rotating movement. Looking good. Then I'm going to close this up, I'm going to add and let's add a repeater. And this is where the magic is going to happen. So I'm going to go into repeater. Let's bring up the copies to around 30. Go into transform repeater one, set the position to minus one. And let's scale this up by 106 and rotate this by um, let's go with 10. So we have this really interesting look as you can see. Boom. Okay, so now all I have to do is select it, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, hit R to bring down the rotation and rotate it by 180 degrees. So we have this really interesting swirly animation. Pretty awesome. Now let's duplicate this. So I'm going to select this, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it and um, let's go into the stroke properties of this one. And let's click on this plus icon, which is going to add some dashes. Now, the reason I cannot see it because if I, I need to select it and rotate this so that we can see it more properly like so. And I'm going to hit U. Let's go right over here and bring down the end property to 15%. So we get this really nice look. I'm going to click R to bring down the rotation and then let's place it something like so. So we get a really interesting look as you can see maybe rotate it and try to place it into the center of these two shapes which is looking pretty good let's select this hit ctrl d hit r and rotate this so something like that so we get a really nice look as you can see pretty awesome so now what I'm going to do is let's add some color to this. So I'll select the first one, go into effects and preset and let's add a ramp, which is going to be a gradient ramp. Double click to apply this up and let's change the white color to something like a nice red and the black color to a darker red shade. All right, let's copy this effect, hit control C and paste it on the circle to hit control V, swap the colors. So we get a really interesting look. And you can see it looks pretty awesome. Now, depending on whichever games that you're playing, you can change the complete color theme of this. So I'm going to select the background, go into effects and preset, type in four 
underscore gradient four color gradient basically let's select a nice dark red theme for this one and everything else i'll set this to black and this one to black and this one to dark red as well and then i can move this points like so i just want to highlight them from the corners to create a nice ambient look i can also increase the jitter amount to 20 percent so we don't get any kind of color bendings now before we proceed further with this tutorial let me tell you about today's sponsor ae juice they have an amazing i want it all bundle which contains over 5000 animated elements like transitions presets titles for your project it comes with a handy pack manager plugin and this is one of those investment that will last you for a lifetime. Plus they also have a starter pack which has over 100 animations that you can try it out for free. For more information check out the link in the description below. And now let's add some glow on this so I'm going to create a new adjustment layer called this glow. Go into effects and preset type in glow. Let's add this now. One thing to keep in mind is that whenever you are working with glows, make sure you always work on in 32 bits. So I'm going to hold alt and click on this small button, which is going to switch to 32 bits. So this makes the glow look more organic and prominent. So I can set this. Um, actually, I'm going to increase the radius. First of all, to get this really nice look. Um, let's go with something like 250 or something really intense and bring up the threshold just so that it's not too much so somewhere around 80 percent is looking good so i really like the look as you can see before and after now we have a certain amount of ambient kind of light for the complete design so let's go ahead and add some text now so i'm going to select the text tool and for the font i will be going with again one of my favorite the integral bold cf let's type in our text so i'm going to type in something like stream let's set our text the way i want it to you said it's around 80 all right let's hit ctrl d to duplicate it bring this below and and then to make it look a bit more interesting i'm going to use a very kind of a cool technique here a simple cool technique is i'm going to select the text and create a mask just like so and then hit f and feather this up so it's going to add a sense of depth into our text. So I don't like that. Let's adjust the mask a bit and then copy the mask Hit control C and paste it on the first text as well. So you can see we get a really interesting look and there we go. Now let's go ahead and animate our text so I can go to around one second select the text and let's go into animate and animate add a position actually and now we can animate the position like so so i'll create a keyframe on the position go back and bring that out just like that i can select it hit f9 to ease, ease them let's copy the animator one hit ctrl c and paste it on the stream as well hit ctrl v and let's see what we have boom there we have a nice animation for our text and you can use this as a completely looping animation for your start of your stream or the trailer of your stream whatever that you call it i'm not really a gamer so i don't know exactly what you call this but you know it's called a stream animation basically really easy and you know simple to create and the best part is that you can anytime change the color and change the complete look of the stream i can also do one more thing is i can add some uh, displacement to this so if i go and add a turbulent displacement and create a really interesting look i'm not sure if this is gonna make sense or not but let's try this out let's try to get a really interesting look here you know let's copy this and paste it on the other circles and you know you get a really different look So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create a streaming animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you leave a big fat thumbs up. And if you're watching my video for the very first time, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. And you can also follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. And I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.